Yeah. I think uh, us parents know what that is. I mean, That's what it looked like. It's all good. It smells good. Uh, Luke, Luke paid you a compliment yesterday. He said he thought you made the biggest jump from game one to two. What do you think? Uh, I think on the defensive end, I did. Uh, you know, just trying to be active and talk. You know, we're still going to make mistakes, but just trying to talk our way through it and, and play with energy. You guys seem very dialed in, and even Luke said so in that first quarter, quarter and a half, uh, defensively, offensively. What what changed as, as that game went on? Yeah, probably, I don't know. Probably fatigue step, uh, set in a little bit, uh, a little bit less communication, you know, all the above. But uh, got to do it for longer stretches. When you assess it, even though you guys lost, do you think you made some, some nice positive strides? Yeah, we made some strides. Uh, when we're locked in and focused like that, we're pretty good, uh, especially on the defensive end, and then we can get to you know, run and play how we want to. Uh, but, you know, when we, when we don't do that, we're not good. So uh, we just got to be able to do it for longer stretches. What did Lopez and uh, Bogut add to practice today? <laughs> A lot of physicality. Uh, you know, they're obviously very smart players and know how to play the game, uh, very skilled, uh, brought a different physicality. Was that missing? Uh, I don't know if it was missing, but it definitely up nice to have. <laughs> yeah, it's definitely nice to have. Have you gotten to play much impact in the same lineup as bro? Today I did. Uh, in the pre previous days, actually, I had a little bit too. Yeah, so. And what's uh, That's great. You know, he spaces the floor. Um, you know, he's long. Um, so he's really good, really good passer. Are you uh, personally as a defender? What are the areas that you see? Just, uh, yeah, just consistency, uh, still seeing things before they happen, uh, just kind of anticipating things a little bit better, and uh, just staying disciplined, you know, just play, I play hard and, you know, try to play with a tremendous amount of energy, uh, but sometimes just staying solid and staying disciplined. Do you feel like you're taking that jump shot without hesitation? I know you worked a lot on it this summer. Yeah, yeah, I feel good, uh, honestly, you know, when it's there. You know, the biggest thing with me is I don't have to shoot 20 jumpers a game, you know. I, my bread and butter is, you know, getting to the basket, you know, being physical, uh, but taking it when it's there. It seems like you were talking a lot more from outside the game last night. Was it something that coach talked to you about? Uh, yeah, a little bit, you know. Um, it's kind of something, you know, we were playing pickup during the summer, you know, uh, that, you know, I kind of tried to do a little bit more of. And, you know, it just kind of messes teams' offenses up. It keeps uh, our defense on our toes. Keeps us on our P's and Q's, uh, ready to go. So uh, just any way I can kind of lead and try to anchor our D. With the, the shooting, have you, have you reached a point where you feel comfortable? You, know, you can miss three or four of them or whatever just to keep taking it. And I don't care. Yeah, I don't care, honestly. Uh, you know, like I said, it's just one of those things where if, when it's there, it's there. Uh, but I know what my bread and butter is too, so I'm not going to sit here and try to be a, you know, a, 10 3 a night guy, <laughs> you know, I don't I don't have to be that. Uh, but, you know, when it's there, I'm definitely going to take it. Do you feel like the kind of the fatigue that you alluded to is, is just something that kind of happens in the preseason, or do you think because of the way you guys are going to play that you guys have to be in better shape and better condition? A, a little bit of both, you know. Um, you know, obviously, it's preseason guys are trying to get their legs, uh, getting adjusted to practices and games, but also how we're trying to play. You know, we have to be the best conditioned team in the league for how we want to play. Um, so it's a little bit of both. Uh, Luke has asked you to outlet the ball more uh, when you get a defensive rebound. How's that adjustment been for you? Easy. Uh, easy. You know, we have guards who are looking ahead, you know, looking to create, make that uh, play. So uh, for me, it's easy. It takes a lot less energy uh, for me than, you know, dribbling, you know, up the court. So uh, it allows me to use my speed and, you know, my quickness a lot, a lot more efficient.